local animals, animals from South Africa and New Zealand. I have. So part of it's just outlandish, you know. Uh, it's just so bizarre. Yeah. Look at it. I, I saw. I saw this one of those. Yeah. Wait, I think I've made a f enough viral videos in the past to know, to trust that feeling. Uh, so I did expect it in a way, uh, but I didn't expect it to do as well. I think the magic ingredient is the fact that the funds are being raised for uh, cats and dogs uh, for the SPCA in Springfield, Ohio. And I was very intentional about that because I know that everyone loves cats and dogs. Um, I'm an animal lover myself. I've donated to the SPCA in the past with my other songs, uh, so I wanted to do the same and make sure that uh, the clip, you know, unified people no matter what their political opinion might be. And uh, it wakes you up at five in the morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I made a whole. Um, more famous than before, and you do. You're gonna. Do I think parody is great in that. Um, Firstly, I think music has a powerful way of, you know, taking away any negative energy or, or polarizing feelings, especially with someone like Donald Trump, who is such a polarizing figure. I think if you can take his voice and turn it into a song, that already, I think, you know, lets people's guards down. Um, and I think it's it's good to to bring humor into serious situations. It's not saying that you're laughing at the situation, it's saying that you can rise above it and actually take a step back and you know not take life too seriously and, and try and just see the humor in things. If you didn't say that I wouldn't have my song. So yes. there's always a silver lining.